come and she see us. Like out on the scale. Where's Juliet Lewis? Dude, Where's hey, Juliet? that is my best friend, and she is such a bitch to me recently. Hey, no, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't, hey, don't talk about my girlfriend like that. No, you know she's my best friend, and she's fucking me up. Where is we just she got, right now? We just got engaged on camera. I got, I got on camera. You got engaged. You're invited to the wedding. You know, me and her got engaged. So what is that? Hey, out of mind. Hey, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dave will take, he'll take two brides, yeah. Put back up. Stand up. Get the whole frame in there. Dragon Dave, I don't impress easily, you know. I don't, you know, I don't get all, you know, shaky, nervous. But look who I got next to me, the one and only Juliet Lewis. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to welcome you to San Francisco. Thank you. And of course, for those of you who've been living under a rock, this is the this is a a, a very talented, beautiful, successful actress who starred in a lot of my favorite movies, um, among them Natural Born Killers. Strange movies, yeah. right? Ooh, well, nice movies. I love the people who love the movies I was in because they're movies that are kind of strange, the, the popular ones, anyway. Is that what you go for when you read a script? Yeah, I like things that are complicated and kind of different. You know, I've done uh, middle-of-the-road stuff, too, but but uh, I don't know. I, I'm glad I did Natural Born Killers and, like, Cape Fear in California and things like that. Cape Fear, Cape, Cape Fear. Not a lot of people have seen Strange Days. Cape Fear, of course, and of course, recently, I, ha I, I was very happy to see her in, a, in one of my recent most favorite movies of all time, Starsky and Hutch. Hey, how about? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun on that or what? So much fun, because I haven't done a lot of comedies, so it's really good to do these uh, comedies. And I love characters, so I love playing like extreme th things that are so different from myself. Yeah. You know. And of course, uh, maybe for those of you who might go way back, how about the Wonder Years? <laughs> wow, I'm really impressed with you. I don't think a lot of people know the Wonder Years. Doing rock and roll doing or punk. music. Doing music. Um, what, what came? What came to that decision? I always wanted to sing when I was little, and I was kind of like a singer who became successful acting. And I, I'm like 30 now, so I I've gained. Just my age. I've gained, <laughs> but I've gained like a tenacity and a kind of. Um, I have things to say, and I, I'm, I'm, I have a kind of fearlessness, and I put this band together about two years ago, and I'm just going to see it through. It's kind of my love and my hunger right now. It's really hard work to, to be successful in music, but I know um, the movie business, that's hard work too. And the other thing is I'm, an, I'm like an underdog. I've never had anything handed to me, so I don't mind trying to push something forward. And, with music, you get to connect with people in a way you can't with uh, movies.
what is the fascination with a, Hollywood, a successful Hollywood actress like yourself wanting to venture to rock and roll and rock stars wanting to venture into movies? I think it's just art, when you're artistic and it's creative expression, you do the full thing. I mean, you have like rappers who want to act, uh, not just rappers, but different people. I'm, I'm into the whole mixed media thing of like the early 1980s or, like, you know, with Mick Jagger and Iggy Pop and David Bowie and, um, I, you know, you mix design, painting, uh, movies, and I think there could be a renaissance with art. You just have to have to have something to say, and I feel I have. I want to connect with people, and I want to inspire, and I kind of want to rabble rouse with rock and roll. And uh, uh, I'm really serious about it. And I want to. I don't want to be. Uh, I want to shed vanity and and bring uh, emotion to it. <laughs> My whole thing is to answer everybody's questions like, oh, is she going to suck? Come to the live show. That's all I got to say to anybody. Very, Come see you live. Very impressed. Very impressed. I'm telling you, I mean, I, 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 mean, I loved it. A punk rock fan growing up? You know, I think I was, I just liked rock and roll. I like Van Halen, um, Led Zeppelin. I went through my 60s. I went through uh, Miles Davis, Ricky Lee Jones. Like, I just love music, but I think what we're into, my band, The Licks, is uh, trying to get people to feel energy and to get in touch with their uh, energy. That's all. And we just sort of want to connect with people in that way. We're gonna get out of here. So uh, until next time, all your RC viewers. See. Keep on rocking in the U.S. of A.